and not making these stories or not allowing these stories about women and Donald Trump to get out in the public sphere. Also, Stormy Daniels took the stand. A lot of questions on how that may have played with the jury. She was quite harshly questioned uh, with by a female attorney on Trump's team, Susan Nichelis. And that questioning was largely about her credibility. Keith Davidson, another lawyer. So a lot of people both were questioned quite closely by the prosecutors to bring evidence in that would support Michael Cohen. The defense would cross-examine them as a way to undercut their credibility and also harp back that don't believe everything Michael Cohen will tell you either. And now in the summations, we're very likely to hear about credibility of witnesses that many of these people are motivated with um, uh, unhappiness, anger towards Donald Trump, a wish to make money off of this case. We'll see what the jury does, though, in many days from now. Bradley, let me let you have the last word here. Let, let me ask, I mean, you could argue that both sides rolled the dice. I mean, the prosecution put up Michael Cohen. Obviously, he had credibility issues. The defense put up Robert Costello. I mean, we saw how that went with the judge. Is it clear to you, obviously, <coughs> the jury will decide, and no one knows how that's going to go, but is it clear to you going into closing arguments who is going into this with the upper hand? Yeah, so I think the prosecution likely has a slight advantage here. They basically framed it out as a house of circumstantial evidence, texts, emails, fact witnesses, all meant to surround and serve as a foundation for Michael Cohen, who, as you noted, has tons of credibility issues of his own. But he was the key eyewitness. He was the key fact witness. So they have enough. There was a lot of cross-examination. There was a lot of credibility issues brought up. But the way the prosecution framed it, it was sort of a bend but don't break approach to this. I think they've got enough to get a conviction. The question becomes, do we have a, a unanimous jury or will we have a hung jury? That is where I think this will be interesting to see next week. Yeah, it certainly will be. Uh, Bradley Moss, thank you. Caitlin Poland, thank you.